Being able to make a Zoom call through Slack requires two configuration steps before a call can be made. First, we need to add the Zoom app to our Slack workspace. Second, we'll need to authorize the Zoom Slack app for our Zoom account. You can do this in the desktop client and through a browser. We'll be using the desktop client for our example. Let's get started. The first thing we'll need to do is go to the app section of Slack. Here we can search for and add apps. We'll search for the Zoom app using the search bar at the top. Once we've found the app, we can click the Add button to go to the app page in the app directory and add the app to your Slack workspace. If you're not a Slack admin, it will depend on the configuration of your workspace whether or not you're allowed to install apps. We'll click the Add to Slack button and we'll have to decide if we want to install the app for ourselves or for the entire organization. For this example, we'll just add it to our own account. After selecting the type of install we want to use, we need to grant Zoom access to our workspace. This completes the first part of our installation. Now that Zoom is authorized to access Slack, we just need to authorize Slack to access Zoom. The easiest way to do so is to initiate a Zoom session from Slack. Just type forward slash Zoom in any Slack channel and hit enter or send to open the Zoom dialog. The first time you open Zoom from within Slack, a message will appear with a link to authorize Zoom. Click on the link and you'll be taken to your Zoom login page to authenticate your account. After logging in with your account details, you'll be presented with the areas of your Zoom account that you are granting Slack access to. Once you've reviewed and confirmed you want to move forward, click the Authorize button to move to the last step where you can select whether or not to show links to recorded meetings and whether or not to use an encrypted password for the meetings you create. Clicking the Save button will close the browser window and complete the authorization process. Now, let's kick off a Zoom meeting from within Slack. To do this, we'll use the same slash command we did before, forward slash Zoom, and hit Enter. Now that our account has been fully linked and authorized, this command will bring up a dialog in your channel with a Join button to take you to your meeting. This Join button will be visible and active for all Slack users in the channel, allowing teams to quickly come together and swarm a topic. Depending on your browser and settings, you might need to allow your browser to open the Zoom app. Once this is done, the Zoom app will open and connect you to your meeting, just as if you started the meeting from the Zoom app directly. Please subscribe to our channel or check our website for other topics and videos.